Hey, Ross Rods Nation. It's the, your friendly neighborhood trash man outside of Hollis Field in, well, right outside of Chicago in Lake Forest. I uh, just watched day two of the Chicago Bears training camp and <laughs> came away a little bit nonplussed. Um, Justin Fields didn't look as sharp today as he did yesterday. A lot of misconnections with his receivers. I mean, a really egregious like, overthrow to Nikhil Harry, um, who was wide open on an end zone kind of fade. Um, but he wasn't getting much help from his receivers. Um, he doesn't really have, seem to have much of a connection with anyone other than Darnell Mooney as of yet. Um, and as far as, you know, the number two there goes, I think Pringle looks like the guy right now. Um, but then Bayless Jones was getting in a lot of action to three wide sets, as was Equinemius St. Brown, who's in four wide sets and a lot of the red zone sets, which makes sense because of his height. Um, but yeah, it looked like Equinemius St. Brown was actually in a lot in a lot of three wide sets too. I'm, I'm just talking to some of the other beat writers um, for the Bears around here. It seems like it's really anybody's contest um, to get that number two behind Darnell Mooney. Um, I'd say it seems to me like the running game is the strongest aspect of the offense right now. Um, David Montgomery, Khalil Herbert, they both look great. Um, behind them, it seems like Ebner might be the guy. He made some decent plays today and he seemed to be working in a lot with the second team. Um, tight ends, Cole Komet, he wasn't on the field a ton today. I'm not really sure if it was because of possible injury or, or what, but I saw a lot of O'Shaughnessy and a lot of Ryan Griffin in the, in the red zone sets that they played today. Ryan Griffin still, to me, looks like the best tight end on the roster right now. But it's just, you know, the beginning of camp, really. So, still a lot to be discerned. And that's about it for me in Chicago on day two of the Chicago Bears training camp. Um, it's been a trash man on behalf of rosterwatch.com. Um, I'm sure I'll talk to Alex <laughs> later about, you know, some more details of this practice so stay tuned for that and until next time be ready